Stan Jabalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV Whiskey One Good Vibrations with a little idea that I just thought up just a few minutes ago. You may have heard of a four wire transmission line where you have essentially two ladder lines crisscrossed to improve the balance and reduce the characteristic impedance while maintaining an air dielectric. Well, I thought, why not expand that to the concept of six wires? Now, imagine that you're looking right down the feed line, right down the feed line, either from the transmitter to the antenna or vice versa, so that you have here two, uh, two triplets of wires, X, 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 and all three of these wires marked X are shorted to each other at either end of the transmission line. Nowhere in between, but only at the ends. So at the transmatch end, X, X, X are all shorted out to each other. So they all carry one current in the same direction. Then the other conductor, the other half of the balanced line are the conductors here marked Y. They too are shorted at the antenna end and the transmatch end of your feed line, but nowhere in between. Uh, they uh, connect to the other balanced input of your line. So, so basically Here's the output of your transmatch, your balanced output, X match, or antenna tuner. Here are the balanced terminals. One of them goes to all three uh, of the X wires, say this one right here, and then the other one goes to all three of the Y wires. So we'll mark that Y. So in effect we have uh, three parallel wire transmission lines sort of intertwined with each other in a balanced and symmetrical way. The result of this will be twofold, uh, even more than a four wire line. Lower characteristic impedance so instead of maybe 450 ohms for two wire line and 225 ohms for four wire line, you might divide by three and get only maybe 150 ohms characteristic impedance for this line. And that's uh, with air dielectric and spacers. Uh, you'd have to figure out some kind of a spacer scheme, but probably a pattern like this affixed in the center. So it'd be kind of like a six pointed star going down along uh, in a long, long, uh, <laughs> well, what would you call it? A, a, a three faced or a six faced um, sort of support. Uh, but you'd need to have them at, at intervals only along the uh, line rather than continuously. So most of this dielectric will be air. So you'll get a lower characteristic impedance and you should also get better balance. In particular, you should get better balance than a two wire or a four wire line when line like this passes near a metallic object that could otherwise disrupt its balance. Two wire line is notorious for that. You try to run that alongside a gutter or alongside a, a pipe of some kind or on a house with metal siding. Uh, sometimes people will helically twist television ribbon, but you can't very well do that with ladder line. But with this, you don't have to bother with any of that. It's a lot better balance inherently, so it's less likely to be disrupted by nearby metallic objects. Now, this is—I'm not going to claim to be the inventor of this. 
because I'm sure that someone else has thought it up before. But I just thought I'd mention it to you and bounce it off you and let you ponder that idea if you are into, as I am, balanced antennas fed with open wire line on the HF bands. In particular, a center-fed random dipole with a really good transmatch. And a company that makes a really good balanced transmatch is called Palstar. So go to their website. You'll, you'll find it. Google on them. And you'll find a, a true balanced transmatch. It's pretty pricey in the order of 750 bucks, But if you're into that kind of thing and you have the dough, go for it, say I. Stan Jibalisco, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, saying 73 for now and... So long.